Hi guys, it's Simply Nicola. I am making a budget binder for one of my customers. And so I'm cutting out the inserts. This is actually how it looks. What I do, I make it in Canva, print it on vellum, then I laminate them. So that's what that is. And then I cut them out accordingly. So I'll say that's that's how that's how that looks. So my customer, her binder is actually coming no more. I don't I kinda really started doing this. I started doing it for myself and then I thought why not just do it as a side hustle so that's what i started doing and i like these it's simple not too much going on It looks great, actually. And I think I have like a couple more. I made a couple that say fully funded. So when she does her saving challenges, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing when you do it in black and white. I guess I could do color, but right now my color printer, I actually need to buy one. So it's easier for me to actually print it in black and white. That works, you know, because some people don't really like a lot of color like that. So. I actually need a good, I bought this one, this, you know, when you want the edges to be curved, but it's, it doesn't work on the plastic like that, really. It definitely. Oh. This might get come down a little more. I don't want to cut the edge off. It's too much because. So that says fully funded. And it's a couple of them that says fully. I just wanted to give her options. Oh my God. To... Sorry about the noise. My grandkids are noisy. So if you hear a noise in the background, it's my grandkids upstairs. Because I'm right now I'm in the basement. Hmm. 
feel like sometimes I need like a heavy duty cutter, but this actually works pretty good. This stuff, this shit time consuming. Like for real. I guess when I get my Cricut, I don't know, I probably won't do it on Canva anymore, but I'll just do it on a Cricut. I'm actually trying to save for a Cricut because that, those machines are so expensive. Oh my God. Especially if you're trying to get the Cricut maker. Oh my God. Those prices are ridiculous. Oh, I only got two more. Her binder comes tomorrow and her the envelope stuff comes tomorrow. I try to cut it as close to the edge as possible so you can get like a cleaner look. And I actually like it with the lines, you know how you see has I included the line around it. I love how that shit, that shit looks good on me, like I said aesthetically pleasing like really okay and i also do it printed on white paper to white some people like the white better and then other people likes the vellum better i guess because it's transparent that's another. I have like one more. Okay. Maybe I'll cut this one down. She actually wanted to add two additional ones. I think she wanted a Starbucks one and something, something else. Like I told you, I made these on camera and just laminate them, print them on vellum and then print them. And then, uh, so I create it on Canva, print it on vellum paper and then laminate it. They look so good. I, I just love how it looks. I need to upload it on my Etsy shop. Also, I'm about to make the teller breakdown, cash breakdown. I, I might just include that in our package. As like a little freebie. Shit, did I put, uh -uh. Kinda not real. Okay, for that.
Probably need to fast forward some of this, maybe. Anyways, how were you guys week? I had such a busy week at my full-time job. Oh my God, it's so crazy busy. Running a business and working a full-time job is hard. It's really hard, but I'm trying. I'm really, um, I just actually did somebody's taxes. She had seven years back taxes. That shit was crazy. People actually don't file their taxes in seven years. It actually was like eight years, I think. But she didn't really need to go that far back. So I just did her seven years. But this, these are actually, like I said, they're new, something I'm just starting. I hope to have them on my Etsy shop soon. I probably need to take some good pictures. We're in the final, it's finally done. I mean, when I stuff the envelopes. last one the final of it is gonna be <coughs> tomorrow but I'm gonna be creative because like I said I don't didn't I don't have my cricket yet to make like the names on the binders so I'm gonna get creative as possible Put put the name on there like this. Hold on. Because this one I did. I didn't do it. I didn't do it with any Cricut machine. Like, I just got some letters from Hobby Lobby and just stick them on her. It looks just, it's, it actually looks just as nice. And this is my cash. This is my cash envelope. This I walk with this binder. Like, this is like my fun money. And then, you know, I have my savings challenges in here. And then my sinking funds. I've gotten better with these things because mm, a while ago I was buying the labels from Amazon. Which was fine. I mean, but I was like, why not make my own? I mean, it's really not that hard. So that's. So I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit. Maybe I'll put it in this. Just a little bit back. wonder what the iPhone 15 is gonna look like this week. I'm just curious to know because that right currently I have the 14 which I'm recording on but I do have a camera but I just figure and this is them. so she has credit cards house rent pay to self gas utilities twenty dollars savings challenge fully funded in like different styles fully funded fully funded fully funded then that's for her kids then that's fun money salon she owns a beauty salon so that's for her rent like she rents a space you know like from one of those salon suites 
car insurance, car payment, when she buys salon supplies, business tax, property tax, and she's starting a new line, so this is good. I hope this shit is not coming off. I'll be mad. Oh, thank God. Yep. It feel like it's coming off. That's hard. Let's hope it's not. If not, I'll do over another one. And that's that. Thank you for watching. Simple Nicola, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I know I haven't really posted or done anything in a while. But I need to get back to it. Plus, Vlogmas is coming. Christmas, my favorite time of the year. You know, I definitely have to be posting stuff. Gotta post every day from December 1st through the 25th. Or you can do it till the 31st. And all your activities that you're doing for Christmas. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later.